Okay guys, if you asked me uh, to make some red clover videos, so we will have no red clover videos this year because we lost all the clover in the drought. So here is the result of that. Uh, this was a wheat field last year. There's wheat up on the hill up above me there. But this is a wheat field where the clover died last year in the drought. And so how I am recouping with that is I plant cow peas and sedan. And I plant them in the row. Uh, the destination for this is haying or grazing. If it's dry, we'll hay it. If it gets wet, we will graze it. Uh, right where the tractor's at right now, those uh, I ran out of cow peas. So I had to put some beans to finish off this terrace. But there's cow peas right there. Anyway, cow peas in sedan, why? Okay, so a couple reasons. First of all, the seed is relatively modestly priced. When you row it and you keep your population below uh, 200,000, in these 30 inch rows, you can keep your seed cost per acre uh, down to below 20 bucks, probably closer to 15 bucks if you'd crunch the numbers. Uh, the other reason is that it is a legume. Cow peas fix nitrogen, so they will continue to build this soil. Uh, final reason, weed suppression. So looking up ahead of me there, you can see that there is a lot of foxtail on this hill. There's also some crabgrass. Uh, but anyway, these hills, we, we put a fair amount of manure on these hills, uh, you know, manure from the feedlot. And the net result is that the foxtail and the grasses prosper. And, uh, you know, they don't bother wheat at all. They're warm season grasses. Uh, but they do bother uh, the clover. And so I want to not let those guys go to seed if I can. And that will help, uh, you know, the destination with this field will be wheat this fall. Uh, when we get down to either haying or grazing the cowpeas and sedan, We'll work them down and the soil will be in real good condition to go back to wheat. Uh, so what we're doing out here today is we have to cultivate. When I plant, I push up ridges with my planter. Uh, there's an uncultivated section, so they're not big on this hill. They might be two or three inches. Uh, this ground has had about five and a half inches of rain on it since we planted it. So the ridges kind of got washed down, but there are ridges. And by cultivating this, I knock the ridges down, I knock back the foxtail, I give the competitive edge to the uh, sedan and cow peas. And after I give them the competitive edge, they will, they will run good and they will outcompete and will honestly be hanging it before the things even set seed. So this is how I'm recouping in my rotation from losing the standard red clover on poor hills. And uh, I've done this now a couple years. I used to do it uh, with sedan sorghum and soybeans. Uh, and then here last year in the drought, you know, we found the cow peas. And the cow peas way outgrow soybeans. Uh, right here in a relatively wet year, the beans are running with the cow peas. Uh, but if it turns off and quits raining, uh, the cow peas keep growing where the beans don't. So this is making the best out of a bad situation of losing red clover. Uh, how to mitigate that, feed the cows, suppress weeds, and do it relatively modestly priced. So thanks guys.